Friends remembered a man they call a guitar genius. He was an incredible musician, incredible guitar player, and he was only going to get better. Just to pick up a guitar and just it touch your soul, just in a heartbeat, you know. It does give me a peaceful feeling to know that if anyone cleaned up their life and turned things around, it was certainly Stevie Ray Vaughan, so I really feel like he's with the Angels right now. Stevie Ray Vaughan died in a helicopter crash early Monday on his way to Chicago. He performed in Wisconsin Sunday night with Eric Clapton, Robert Cray, and brother Jimmy Vaughan. Stevie Ray Vaughan was well on his way to becoming a musical legend, especially since fighting a winning battle with alcohol and drug addiction. Something that I know that, you see, I'm here on bar time these days, you know. I got a second chance on something and I want to try to do my best with it, you understand? Rock star Stevie Wonder, ZZ Top, Bonnie Raitt, and Dr. John attended private memorial services. Then at the family's request, Stevie Ray Vaughan's fans and friends got a chance to attend graveside services to pay their last respects. Let us pray. Faces from his boyhood days in the Dallas suburb of Oak Cliff, friends from his days in the Austin, Texas music scene, and longtime loyal fans, 2,500 in all, brave 100 degree heat and jammed a grassy hillside to hear the eulogies. He was a musician's musician. But along with that, he did what you appreciate so much, and that's why you're here, here today in such vast numbers. He captured the hearts of thousands and thousands of people. He taught me to remember how important family is. Thank you, Stevie. Thank you for making me remember music. Thank you for sharing a part of your music with me. I was, was lost, but now I'm found. Mike Caps, CNN, Dallas.